Hey guys, Down Phoenix here, and I just wanted to hop on because I wanted to uh, share some thoughts on Samuel to Geek's latest video, which was actually on Samuel to GTA's channel, I think, because he has to have more than one channel. What's, I don't even see the point of having more than one channel, personally, but um, we're not going to get into that, <laughs> okay? Um, we're going to talk about the Verizon Share Everything plans, which um, initially I kind of made a misinformed comment to him about saying, oh, it's a rip-off and everything like that, which um, actually, you know, the only reason I thought that is because I'm on Sprint personally, and so I don't really understand how Verizon's plans work, plus I work for Sprint, you know. I probably should know more about our competitors so I can tell the customers, hey, blah, 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 you know, uh, this is where what you're getting with us versus them. So, uh, but anyways, uh, it was a video response to this guy named Jack the Bomb or whatever, which uh, he's complaining about these plans. And uh, about how they're like super expensive and everything like that. Um, I'm not exactly sure where he's getting that. Um, you know, I understand like it, when you initially look at the numbers for the plan, it seems like it could be pretty expensive. But uh, I was actually a little shocked um, with some of the rates, you know, because I, I looked over it, you know, and um, you know, I have to say, um, bravo to uh, Verizon. Usually. I diss you guys a lot due to your pricing, because your pricing as it is now, before the new plans, really sucks. Um, but now it looks like they might be okay. They might be pretty competitive. Um, well, of course, that's going to vary depending on who you are. You know, it's not going to work for everybody. They're pushing these new plans to try to get more smartphone users. You know, of course, trying to get people to buy tablets and, and all that good stuff. You know, they're trying to gear all that stuff in. And, you know, if you're wanting to be someone that could be as a data consumer, it's going to work out good for you. If you're someone that just wants, like, talk and text or something like that, this is probably not the plan for you. Um, but I'm not even going to get into that. I'm going to show two examples of uh, a pretty typical thing that I see uh, every day at work. Um, a family plan of four phones plus a tablet uh, between... Verizon's new and old plans, and I'm also going to compare it side by side with Sprint's plans as well. And I'm also going to show you a family of two, um, with one of the members having a two gigabyte hotspot plan on their phone. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, all right. So as you see here, um, this is the share everything column right here. This is Verizon's new plans. Uh, this is their current plans. I put old plan because we know that's going to go away, uh, at least for people that aren't grandfathered in. And then, of course, uh, Sprint's plans. Now, um, I do want to point something out about Samuel to Geek's video. He has the grandfathered in unlimited plan. Um, Verizon doesn't offer that anymore, and they haven't offered that for almost a year and a half now. So, um, you know, obviously, if you're grandfathered in, that's one thing. But, you know, let's assume that uh, you're wanting to get new service, you know, you got to leave your current carrier because of issues with them or what, what have you, you know, whatever um, it, there is, you know. Um, so obviously you're going to need to get a new plan. You can't choose from something that's not available anymore. Um, so we'll go ahead and get to it here. You know, I try to break this down as easily as I can. Here's the first category, the four phones and a tablet. 2 gigabyte plan for the tablet and uh, then the two phones plus 2 gigabyte hotspot on one phone. Now you do have to bear in mind Sprint has unlimited data on their phone so with the exception of the tablet and the hotspot um, there's not anything listed for the data category I just put it's basically $10 per smartphone um, they charge a $10 fee for every smartphone device um, if you're using a non-smartphone they won't charge you um, this is their everything data plan right here, and uh, this is Verizon's current plan. I don't know if it really has a name. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not too familiar. Actually, we can look at it right now, and uh, well, um, I guess they do. Yeah, it's a nationwide family share is what they call it. Okay, and um, then we got, of course, to share everything. So, you know, if you look at the numbers right now actually I need to kind of fix some of these numbers <laughs> uh, but you know if you look at it of course um, let, let's start with this of course uh, you know if we go unlimited 
um, you know, 270 for the share everything. You know, you see the math right there. You can add it up yourself. Um, you know, I'm sure you're smart enough to add, right? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, so 270 bucks. Four phones, a tablet, 10 gigabytes of data that you're sharing overall between with everybody. You know, assume two gigabytes per line. Um, if you were to get the exact equivalent thing, you're paying 130 bucks more with unlimited. Even if you didn't want unlimited, if you were okay with doing 1400, you're still paying 20 bucks more. Um, on sprints, <laughs> for whatever reason, their unlimited minute plan completely sucks ass. And uh, usually, when I have a customer ask for that plan, I'm like, are you going to call a lot of landline phones? Because that's the only reason you would ever need that plan because their uh, everything data plan has unlimited minutes for uh, other mobile phones. And most everybody talks on their cell phones nowadays. So it's uh, very rare that I would ever recommend anything like this to one of my customers. But um, I guess if they really were wanting the unlimited plan, they would be better off of Verizon, uh, really better off with the new plans. Uh, hopefully Sprint introduces some new plans of their own soon um, that can compete with uh, something like this, at least for the unlimited segment. Uh, but, you know, Sprint does have unlimited data for like Verizon, so I guess it depends on your data usage, you know, uh, of course. Um, you know, at Jack the Bomb might might want to consider going to Sprint. He's going to have unlimited data for his, uh, for his phones. That might be a wise thing for him. Uh, but, you know, if you are going to go limited minutes, you can save 25 bucks a month on Sprint. And you get, uh, y you know, like I said, you get the unlimited uh, mobile minutes. So that might be worth it. But, you know, I, it depends, I guess, on which you'd prefer more between the data and the talk. But, uh, you know, basically Verizon wins on the unlimited segment. Sprint wins on the, on the, on the limited segment, I guess. So. Um, and then, of course, you know, it seems like more of the same kind of um, on on the other segment. You know, two smartphones uh, with one phone having a two gigabyte hotspot. Um, as I mentioned before, Sprint has unlimited data. That only applies for data usage on the actual phone. It does not count for hotspot um, or anything like that, it's just to point that out. So, you know, 150 bucks. Um, in this segment, it doesn't matter which way you crunch the numbers. Verizon's new plan is the best. Just 80 bucks to get uh, unlimited minutes and talk and text for two phones, and 70 bucks for the 6 gigabytes of data because you know uh, four plus two for the hotspot. So yeah, that's pretty good. Um, you know, if of course if you want the unlimited data, I would still go Sprint for the uh, 169.99. It's only 20 bucks more to get the unlimited data. For the 1400 minutes, that's a pretty good deal. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the unlimited Verizon's old plan and Sprint's the same, 229.98, um, because Sprint's kind of retarded with uh, the way they uh, do their unlimited plans. It's 99.99 for the first line, and then 89.99 for every line after that, which that's really terrible. You know, there, like I said, you know, there's really nobody. I, I rarely see people on that plan. The most typical person I see on that kind of plan is a truck driver, uh, someone that does a lot of roaming and a lot of landline calls. So yeah, that's usually the, the only people I see that are regularly on that plan. Um, and probably their work pays for their plan anyway, so like, why not get the unlimited, you know, in that case? Um, so yeah, I mean, again, you can see the numbers, and uh, Verizon's plan still comes out on top. Uh, which really amazes me, you know, I mean, it, it, it's a good deal, you know, um, you know, like with their, with their previous plans, uh, you know, obviously you can see they're kind of terrible in that category, uh, really high rates. Um, I mean, not as high as I thought it was going to be, but, you know, considering that you get limited data, limited data and you get overall less features than you did with Sprint, it was still higher than Sprint at the same time. Uh, of course, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole quality issue. I know that Verizon overall has a higher rated, um, not not customer service, um, but their customer service is pretty high rated. But what I mean is, like, I guess service quality. Uh, they apparently have the highest service quality. And, of course, their 4G is the best uh, out of the carriers right now as well. Um, or, well, at least they claim it is. You know, AT&T, of course, is pretty competitive on that front, and uh, T-Mobile. 
uh, Sprint's 4G's kind of behind because they gave up on WiMAX and uh, but you know they're uh, going to make an aggressive rollout supposedly for LTE. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but anyways, um, you know I kind of like these plans overall. The only thing is, is I hope as um, their LTE network gets more matured more people are going into the LTE phones or like that. I do hope that they increase the uh, the tiers, the, the caps on the tiers. Um, you know, I, I guess a good example of this, you know, is like whenever I first signed up for uh, charter cable internet, when I first moved into uh, the apartment I live in like five years ago, I paid, um, you know, I paid, you know, I got the five gig or five gigabyte five megabit plan okay and now I'm up to 30 megabits but I'm paying approximately the same rates uh, during that period so my speed increased by six times overall within a period of five years so you know I'm sure that as things go on you know mobile data is of course also going to naturally increase and I really do hope that uh, Verizon decides to increase their caps at a reasonable rate uh, like Charter has for my home internet if they do well um, and without you know increasing the rate of the plan um, then they've got a killer plan you know I, I could possibly see myself going to Verizon in the future myself and I work for Sprint and I have Sprint so uh, there you go you know I mean I don't work directly for Sprint I, I work as like a like a third party site, you know, so it's not actually owned by Sprint. So just like Samuel was talking about earlier, you know, like a lot of call centers are outsourced to other companies. Um, you know, they, they do have their own call centers too, though. Uh, you know, all the companies do, but they do a lot of outsourcing as well. And so that's important to know. Um, but yeah, uh, you could see it for yourself, folks. Um, and these two very common situations with the average cell phone consumer. Um, you're doing really good here. You know, I mean, that's that is the best deal out of all of these. Uh, and then here, um, it's not the best deal, but it's the second best deal. And uh, with that, you are getting uh, unlimited minutes versus fifteen hundred. So if you do talk a lot, that would probably be the best deal for you. You know, I mean, in regardless, if you talk a lot, that is definitely the best deal because you can tell the ridiculous amounts and dif difference on the rates. You know. Just point out real quick, Jack the Bomb, uh, mobile data doesn't work at all. Like you said, it works more like what Samuel was talking about. Um, there is a limited amount of spectrum that can be used, a limited amount of bandwidth. You have so many people using that bandwidth. Um, since 3G and 4G technologies are all digital, uh, there's technically data not just for uh, data, but you know, calls, text messages, that stuff takes up data too. Uh, so you have to realize that um, the reason why Verizon and most other carriers have been doing these uh, tiered data plans rather than unlimited data like Sprint is because it's not economically feasible anymore because of smartphone advancements. So uh, just realize that. And um, oh, and I also want to point out uh, real quick that. Um, you know, I was talking about the caps, like comparing Charter to Verizon. I know that uh, it's not the same because home internet doesn't work like mobile internet. You know, I get that, okay? I'm just saying that as time goes on, people are going to use their phones more and, uh, you know, release for more data intensive activities. So I'm just saying that I hope Verizon increases their caps in a responsible manner uh, to help prevent a lot of overages from occurring. And so that's what I'm really pointing out here. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, with that, guys, down Phoenix out.